Right now, Arizonans taking to the streets, calling for changes to policing after the death of George Floyd and locally, Dion Johnson. Police reform in Arizona could be a special session away, according to one state lawmaker. But he says there's one person standing in his way, Governor Doug Ducey. Here's ABC 15 investigator Courtney Holmes with the story. As you can see, there's been 18 straight days of protest. People are demanding action now. But State Representative Reginald Bolding says Arizona has yet to act. We know that's what the public is asking for. We know that's what the protests are asking for. On June 2nd, Democratic legislators sent Governor Ducey a list of five police reforms they wanted to discuss during a special session anticipated sometime this summer. They include cultural sensitivity and de-escalation training, body-worn cameras, limiting qualified immunity, which would allow officers to be sued for negligence, requiring a different agency to conduct use of force investigations, and creating a statewide officer discipline database. So far, Bolding says they haven't gotten a response. There has not been any substantive concrete action uh, from the governor's office. But on the legislative side, Bolding, the Democratic whip, says he's got the votes in the House and the Senate to get at least three of the proposals passed with the help of Republican colleagues. We could do it by the end of this week. He's just waiting on Governor Ducey to call a special session to make it happen. The governor has an opportunity to create real reform right now. We're going to focus on some things at the state level, some things that were in my state of the state. The governor's office did not respond to us in time for our story, but at his June 11th press conference, he expressed support to fund body cameras on all DPS officers, as well as some sort of training and diversifying the Arizona Peace Officer Standards and Training Board, which right now consists of 11 male law enforcement officials and two female public members, the vast majority of which are white. Bolding says the change is welcome, but switching out members of post and adding cameras only scratches the surface. We need to have systemic, deep-rooted police reforms, and the only way you do that is by tackling real issues. Courtney Holmes, ABC 15, Arizona.